<laughs> Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to Freddy Fish 2 and the case of the haunted schoolhouse. So today I'm going to be doing a full let's play this game. We're going to play through the entire thing. Sorry I'm so late, Freddy. Let's, let's I just had ours. to find my Codfish Commando action figure for show and tell. That's okay, Luther, but we better get going before we're late for school. Don't want to be late for school. That <laughs> that action figure is something I always wanted as a kid. I always thought it was so cool. But if you don't know, I played the first Freddy Fish game. I did a whole walkthrough of that. I'll put a link in the description. So this is the second game in the Freddy Fish series. We're gonna do a full walkthrough let's play today. So let's just get into it. This is a game I played as a kid. It has a lot of nostalgia for me. I would always go up in my attic and just play it, and I would have nightmares about Freddy Fish. I would have dreams about Freddy Fish. It was just something that I always enjoyed. So it's always fun to go back and play games that have like nostalgia for me i don't really remember too much about them uh so let's let's just the go school up here house is over here We're going towards the schoolhouse Ooh, a heart let's freddy that. did you bring everything you need for school of course i did luther in fact i'm ready for a great day mm -hmm. and i hope you are too <laughs> okay I've had my breakfast. Oh. I've got my books. Hey. Come on, my bin. Check out my looks. Check out my looks. Ready for learning and to have some fun. Me too. Heading off to school. Okay. Our day's begun. Our day's begun. Wow, that was beautiful. I should do a cover of that on my channel. And I actually don't know if you could see the little fish playing the harp in the bottom right hand corner of the screen because of my um, webcam overlay. So I apologize if that gets in the way of seeing anything. I'll race you to school, so let's Freddy! Go to the schoolhouse. And if you don't know, Freddy Fish is like a point and click adventure game. Where are all the guppies? We're hiding. The guppies say the school is haunted by a ghost and that the ghost is stealing their toys. I saw the ghost, Mrs. Croker. It stupefied me with fear, and then it stole my toy! Boo! Ah! That thing gave me nightmares as a child. Hey, that's my toy! Boo! That couldn't have been real. There's no such thing as ghosts. Luther and I will find that so-called ghost yeah, we're and find get that back ghost. all the toys. That's what we're Good doing luck, today. Freddy. Thank you. Alright, so that ghost would give me serious nightmares as a child. I would wake up in cold sweats thinking of that ghost stealing like one of my action figures. Um, so we're gonna get revenge. A 19-year-old Matthew is gonna get revenge on the ghost once again. Um, we're gonna make sure to click on everything. Why do you think that ghost is stealing toys? Uh, maybe... Guess there's no toy stores in the hereafter. Ah, oh, it's great to be alive. All right, um, just make sure I'm not missing anything. Cause like, you have to click on everything because you collect items that'll get you further within the game. Although I don't think there's anything else. A ghost in school is a great big lie. A ghost in school will make us cry. Okay. Please believe there's no such thing. We don't want to cry, we want to sing. Say, we don't want to cry, we want to sing. That's so relatable. <laughs> We don't want to cry, we want to sing. Also, comment below if you believe in ghosts. Um, I'm gonna say that I do believe in ghosts. Um, for a certain reason, I don't want to get too um, You just never know when a pair here. of plastic coated safety scissors will come in handy. True. Can we take the microscope? Nope. Cat? Nope. Mayonnaise? Is mayonnaise in a true? Oh, is this a sink? I'm always weary of clicking things in the bottom right hand corner of my screen because I'm not sure if you can see them. But we got scissors, so that's good. Alright, um... <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I... Interesting. Um, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. This game makes me so happy, I'm not gonna lie. Ah! Hey, look! That was the ghost! Let's get it! Why would he just like go into his secret lair? Hey, like, you! In place Stop! Boom! Whoa! Yeah, Luther. That's right. You better look out! I'll be back to get that toy! 
Freddy, he almost got away with my Codfish Commando action figure. Not Why today. did that ghost have to steal kids' toys? Look, it's part of the ghost. Luther, I don't think that ghost wears sheep. Whoever is scaring the guppies is just wearing a ghost costume. Hmm. I've got it. Let's build a trap to catch that phony. See? We already have almost everything we need. Huh? This is a list of all the things we need right. to build our trap. We'll just need to get a life preserver, life a preserver. Trident, trident, a mock stock mibble box whopper bopper, <laughs> a rope, and a pulley stock, for our box, trap to be bopper. complete. Alright. So those are the things I guess we're gonna need to find and collect in this game of Freddy Fish, and we're gonna set up a trap and catch this ghost. Um, let's first click around inside of his lair in case there's uh, anything to collect. Look like it. Oh, let's follow up where the ghost is. This game brings back so many memories for me, and like you can probably tell, I'm just really happy playing this game, which is probably why I'm recording it on YouTube. Um, it's just a lot of fun. There's so many random fish just jumping down and playing musicals. Sorry, I got coffee. Alright, going to the next room. Ooh, ooh, it's a knot tying book. Hey, it's a book about untying knots. Or an untying knot book. We may need it later. Maybe. Whoa, whoa. That was some, that's another game by the same company, like Humongous, that made this game, but I'm not quite sure I didn't play that one growing up. Alright, that's a turtle. But I do think we've collected... <laughs> Why so many random musicals? Just, and all these fish are just always partying and dancing. All, ooh, we can go down there. Alright, let's go down. <clears throat> that is freaky looking. That looks like the big crab if you see Moana. That looks like that big that big crab. Uh, if you haven't seen Moana, you don't get that reference, but I think that's pretty accurate. Not surprised. They're just they're all just gonna be playing music. They're all just having their own concerts. Just gonna click like everything. <laughs> Um, I don't think we can do anything down here, so I think we're gonna have to go back. Whoa! I think that was just that. Can we go up here? Yeah, it doesn't look like Alright, we're just gonna head back up here. Um, we're just gonna head back in the direction we came from. Because right now we're just lost in this giant, like, what looks to be an abandoned, uh, haunted schoolhouse. <laughs> That's what it is, I'm pretty sure at least. And we're in this underground layer, so we can go back up to the surface. Although you never really go back up to the surface because you're always underwater. <laughs> Getting deep here with some Freddy fish. All right, let's go out of. The, let's go at least out of the schoolhouse. All right, which way to go? This so looks like there's a submarine to the left. Um, there's like a coliseum to the right. I, ooh, I remember this manta ray dude. He's cool. Can I just swim straight to the manta ray dude? Ooh, we can. All right, let's do it. I remember loving his voice. Let's see. Hi, kids. What can I do you for? Hey, Ray. How's business? You probably heard that I am now a collector of fine new and used trophies. And I'm uh, trading one other specialty item. A Mockstock Nibblebock Whopper Bopper. We need that. A very hot item, I might add. Luther! That's one of the things we need to build the trap. <laughs> How much does a knock stock mibblebock whopper bopper go for? This is way under my cost, but since you're such swell looking kids, I'll let you have it for one slightly used trophy. One slightly used I think used we could trophy. probably find a used trophy. <laughs> you can always find a used trophy. Can you play this um race for me? Okay. If you've got a okay. used trophy, you see, dance a mock stock, nibble bock, wop a bop a tea. Still can't pronounce that. That was, that was a good song, I appreciate it. 
<laughs> they're, they're just all playing instruments all the time. All right, let's go this way. So we got to find a trophy to get the mock stop. So go back and do it up. But I was a bopper. Uh -oh. Ooh, don't we need a pulley? I think we need a pulley. Let's go to the pulley and pour young. Oh, I remember this octopus dude too. He was great. I loved him. I think he has a funny Hi, voice Barnacle too. Bob. We're here to buy a pullet. A pullet? A pullet? Forgive me for looking a wee bit stricken, but you said you needed a small female chicken? Luther, I think you meant to say pulley, not pullet. Oops, silly me. This pulley's for sale, and she's mighty nice. Five sea urchins. Okay. That's my asking price. So if you remember in the last playthrough I did of Freddy Fish, we had to find sea urchins in order to purchase things within the game. And so same thing goes for this. We gotta find our sea urchins to get a pulley. Uh, let's hey, Barnacle Bob, is this pulley for sale? These oh. pulleys here I won't ever sell. I just keep them around so I have just stories collect. to tell. <laughs> Who doesn't just collect pulleys? If you guys collect anything funny, comment down below. <laughs> I think I I collect hats and I guess that's not really a weird thing to collect, but I just find like it's a really cool souvenir to have, and it it I just really like you can wear hats with almost any outfit. So let's head to this movie theater, see if there's anything interesting playing. Cool, Coozilla, Coozilla. Right. I love going to the theater. Mm -hmm, me too. I just saw Power Rangers in theaters, and honestly, I loved it. Growing up watching Power Rangers, like. I just, I just love seeing that in a movie, and it was cheesy, I know, but like I expected it, and it was great. Ooh, all right, let's watch this. Same. Was that it? Wow, that was 10 out of 10. Let's leave the theater. That was more like a preview, but I mean, I'll take it. Godzilla, I mean, we don't really have time to watch a full movie within a Freddy Fish game. Um, and I think this is one of the last- ooh, is that a trophy? This is one of the last Freddy Fish games I played before, like, stopped playing Freddy Fish, because I, like, got to an age where I guess I just stopped playing Freddy Fish. Um, and I- I miss Freddy Fish, so maybe I'll buy the newer games and I'll play them if you enjoy this enough on my channel, so just let me know in the comments below. That's the trophy I won for the deep sea spelling bee. I was going to pick it up after school today. Darn! The you trophy case trophy? is locked. What's that? I wonder who we could get the combination from. Well, let's pick up the paper that fell. Hey, I think this fell off the back of the lock. For sure did, for sure. It says, to get the combination to this lock, show this card to Mr. Triple Fin. So, if we show this card to Mr. Triple Fin, he'll give us the combination. Okay. Hello, Thur. You're a genius. <laughs> I know. Alright, so we gotta find Mr. Triple Fin. I mean, Luther sort of has, like, triple fins. Three fins. Let's that bottle one. looks awfully familiar. It does. It looks like the bottle that we found in the last playthrough. Uh, another callback. Link in the description. You want to watch that. Um, do be warned, when I recorded that last playthrough... <laughs> oh, boy. Um... I was not as, uh, I didn't have as nice of a webcam, so the frames aren't as great. But, but it's still good, and I still enjoyed it. Um, so it looks like we've looked at everything here. We need to get five sea urchins to get the holy emporium. We need to find a used trophy to get the box stop to back and do ba da 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 uh -huh. So that's, that's everything we've checked out here. So we'll come back when we have the sea urchins and the trophy. Uh, so let's head towards the Colosseum on the right. Alright. Ooh, I see a xylophone up top. What is this guy? He looks like he can't see. Hi, Casey. What happened? I got so excited reading Scientific Aquarium magazine that my eyes bugged out and knocked the glasses clean off my face. That's relatable. I think I heard my glasses clatter down this hole. Aww. Oh, sad. what will become of me without my glasses? Knock it off, Casey. You're making a spectacle of yourself. Get it? <laughs> that was pretty good. Spectacle? That was pretty good. I like that. Alright. 
Uh, this That actually reminded me of Kalea, who was on the Four Further Details podcast, which is the podcast I do. In the last episode I uploaded, like, two weeks ago, I talked about Kalea falling down and losing her glasses in a river, and that feels like this situation exactly. So you want to check that out, uh, go check out my podcast. Um, that is a cool starfish. Let's click that. Oh, I like to calculate, because it helps you okay. to see all the wonderful stuff that a number can be. Number I love can. adding up the rows and the columns you see. Yes, there's always calculations to be done by me. All right, that was nice. All right, let's go I'll down the hole. I'll get your glasses for you, Casey. Yeah, we're going to get those glasses. Ah! I'm not going to fit in that hole. Should Perhaps have had that honey nut someone Cheerios. younger, smaller, greener. Oh, you mean me. Sure, well, why not? Not sounding too confident there, Luther. Ooh. I hope he doesn't get stuck. I feel like that's where this is going. Oh, I remember this scene. This is amazing. Is this how physics works underwater? Oh, he just got shot out. Alright. Um, I guess we, we go back again. Because he went down, like, the right side of the tube. He needs to get on that too. Click, 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 click. Okay, there we go. Ooh, ooh, the spectacles. Hot dog. Put them in your fish pocket, Luke. Neat spec. <laughs> All right. So while we're down here, let's just like look at everything else just to be certain. Uh, looks like we have everything. So let's go back up this way. And we're. That reminded me Here of going glasses, saving when Casey. I was a little boy. I got stuck because I was overweight. Luther, I'll as my way of saying thanks, I'd like to give you something that I built myself. Is it a trophy? Because that's what we need. It's Ooh. a fusion power, super elastic, repeating slingshot. Complete with bullseye seeking, bullseye. super sneaky turbo rocks, and racing stripe. Ooh, racing stripe. Would you uh, just hold on to this for me, Freddy? Sure thing, Luther. That's gotta come in handy later. But when I was a kid, I went caving uh, with my youth group. And like, it was legit caving, like going, you had to have a, an, ins an instructor, and you go down and you're wearing the headlamps, and you're in the, like, a complete pitch dark, like you can't even see your hand from your face. Um, and you're, you're down there in the cave, and there's this, like, there's this pass, I was called like, the skinny pass or whatever, and you had to like, squeeze through it, and I was overweight, so I got stuck at it. Uh, and that was a traumatic moment in my life. Uh, but let's move on. Let's talk to this turtle. Hi, Tucker Turtle! Is he gonna sing? Or is he, just, is he just gonna shake his shake his shell? Um. I'm the fastest turtle around. How do you know that, Tucker? Do you see any other turtles? Ooh. <laughs> Bongo. Well, I've got a little riddle and it's here for you. <laughs> Why did the surfer ride the ocean blue? To okay. catch a big wave and to hang some fin. And when he wiped out, he did it again. I'm really, I'm really liking this soundtrack so far. I am digging this soundtrack. This um, I still need to be on the lookout for sea urchin. I'm surprised I haven't seen any yet. I tried to click the bubble, but apparently we're just gonna keep going on. Ooh, I see a sea urchin. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Grab that sea urchin. There's a purple sea urchin. Let's so we got take one it with it. Get that pulley. Um, we got a mortar and pestle. <laughs> That. Um, click that. Um, click this. Oh, what's, what is this trident? That statue is holding a trident. Just what we need for our trap. Oh, yeah, we do need a trident for the trap. True. Can we get it free? Hey, though? this statue is really attached to that trident, isn't it? It's not that, Luther. The trident is being blocked by the ceiling. So, how are we going to be able to get that out of the trident? Do we have to like coll collapse the whole thing? I don't know. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Can we head up here? Uh, let's do that. Sorry, my phone keeps like vibrating. I keep getting Twitter notifications. You want to follow me at Matthew Hedgehog? Sorry for all the plugs. <laughs> all right. Well, I remember seeing this as a kid, and, like hearing the oh, the crunching noise and just wanting to eat a chocolate covered gummy worm. 
Chocolate covered worm doodles, my favorite. Don't fall for Luther, it. Luther, no! Don't fall for it. You'll get hooked. Huh? Hooked on junk food? No, I mean there's a fishing hook stuck into that worm doodle. Freddy, you saved my life. What could I ever do to repay you? Stop overacting. Um, is there a sea urchin? Is there a sea urchin? Can we can we head up towards? I would love to be to be able to interact with the human fishing, but it doesn't look like it. So it looks like we just have to head back. And maybe we will have to interact with that later. Wait, can I use the scissors and cut that line and take it? Let me go back real fast. I keep forgetting I have these things. Um, down below. Let's see if we can just take this scissors. That's next level though. What if fish actually lived like this and could just cut? That's how lines get cut. They don't like snap from tension. They just, they just... If we use our fins to take the worm doodle off the fishing hook, we could get hurt. I'll bet these scissors will do the trick. Okay, so I, I think I was right. <laughs> Luther. Great! Hey, there we go. Now we got a worm doodle. Don't eat it! We got... Oh, okay. he's, he's Luther, we need to save the rest for later. I guess you're right, Freddy. I think we can use that as leverage later. Uh, not the TV show, but the um, vocab term. <laughs> um, all right. So it looks like we got everything we needed over here. We need something to get the trident loose. I'm not quite sure what that is yet. We still need the. We still need four more sea urchins. We need the trophy. Um, so let's head back this way. Found his glasses. He he's such a cute fish. <laughs> such a cute fish. I I really love the art design of Freddy Fish. I, I actually need to look up who the like animator for this is and like who the artists are because I really do enjoy like this style. Um, and maybe they could do some art for my YouTube channel if I like paid them. I, I like supporting uh, artists that are like ooh, sea urchin that are like getting off Pasta the ground. Sea urchin over here, There's Luther. so many people creating great art. They're so passionate about it, but it's so hard to make a living doing art until you hit a certain point. So I always like to support artists uh, in any possible way uh, that I can. So if I could like reach out to these artists, although they're probably successful since they've made Freddy Fish art, but that's besides the point. Support your local artists. Give me get that apple. You know. <laughs> that's me. I was just in Atlanta to film a music video, and <laughs> that was me taking pictures of the world of Coca Cola. Ooh, another sea urchin. All right, we got three. Look, it's five. a purple sea urchin, Luther. If you follow me on Instagram, I actually do live stream quite a bit. And when I was in Atlanta, I live streamed um, inside the world of Coca-Cola, where I was doing this like virtual reality thing, and it was pretty sweet. Um, so if you don't want to miss any of those live streams, follow me at Matthew Hedgehog. I really need to stop with these plugs, um, but like these stories keep coming to my mind, and then. The thoughts take off just like that fish as you hear the sirens go by my apartment. Alright, let's... So do we go there or down? Let's go here first because it's like closer. You need to stop sirens. Although I hope everyone's okay. I don't need to mean to be insensitive. I remember this eel gave me nightmares. He... He was creepy. Nobody but nobody gets past Eddie the eel. So nobody gets past Eddie the eel. <laughs> I'm in a bad mood because I missed lunch, and you ain't improving things in it. Better skedaddle or I might just eat you. Excuse me? And toss down your little green pal for dessert. Excuse me? We have food for you. Here's your chance to do a good deed and feed a hungry fellow sea creature. Feed the homeless. You mean give up my worm doodle? My very favorite thing in the whole wide world? Come on, Luther. Do it for Eddie. Ah, oh, well. My duty is clear. Give him the worm drill. That looks so delicious. Oh my gosh, did he just eat his thing? He looks Wow! I'm getting a major league sugar rush. See you guys later. Fun fact, my nickname Luther, is that was very sugar. noble. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I do Noble pretty well, don't I? <laughs> so humble.
but in fifth grade, my nickname was Sugar Rush because in our school they had sugar cube castles out everywhere, and I would like pick them off and then eat the sugar cubes, and then I would act like I was on the Sugar Rush and I'd like go crazy. I was an interesting kid, but I got the nickname Sugar Rush. And fun fact, that's a lot of my usernames for a lot of my old games I used to play. Um, can I? Can you? Okay. That was tasty, that was crunchy, and my belly's full. Yeah. When I get to eat such treats, they give me such a pull. Okay. It gave me such a smile to gobble it all up. Yeah. Now I'm satisfied, I'm happy as a pup. <laughs> I like that. I'm loving these songs. Like, honestly, I just want, I want to look up the soundtrack for this game. Because I, I am just thoroughly... This life preserver is just what we need to build our oh, trap. that is the life preserver we need. Sweet. And now that the eel's gone, we, we need can to get, get it. four more things to make our trap. All right, so we have one concrete item. We have the life preserver. So let's head down into the depths and see if we can make any progress towards the other four things, which I don't quite remember. I, I think we, we do have a sheet. Oh, I remember this character. These characters are so cool. Like, I just love the voices and the art. It's just, I love it. I love it. Ahoy, Captain Schnitzel. How's the submarine? I'm going nowhere fast, <laughs> but that's okay. It gives me time to zing my z ditties. Yes, boss. Oh, fish is a creature that lives in the sea. It's charming and handsome. Is that like me? Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. I like that. I like that song. All right, let's head in here. Oh wait, there was a there was a knot. There was a knot. We can use our book to untie it. Go back out. We need a knot, right? Or at least we need a rope to tie it on. We want it. Give me that. Up here. May we have that rope for our trap, Captain Schnitzel? Yes. Yeah, you can take it. Yeah. If you can untie it. Yeah. Even I have never been able to untie that verschlugen a knot. <laughs> that verschlugen a knot? <laughs> Alright, so... Um, this is when we need this book, for sure. Um, so one. The knot's getting two, loose. Keep three, going. Not four. Yay! Oh, look at that. Next level. We now we have the it. rope we need for our trap. All we right. need three more things to make our three ghost trap. Three more track. things. We're getting there. All right, let's head into here. This is very ominous. Um, click on random things. Um, <laughs> why does that have a face? Ooh, I like that noise. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. Whoa, is that me? Is that a smaller or cooler me? I'm not saying sunglasses make me cooler, because they don't. Um, there has to be something we need to do in here, I would assume. But I'm not seeing anything really to click, and I'm not seeing anywhere else to go within here. Um, so I, I, guess, I guess I'm just gonna head out of the submarine. Let me talk to this guy one more time, uh, just to make sure that the only thing we needed down here was that knot. Um, and then we can move on our way. <laughs> okay. Sailors go down to the sea in a ship, okay. and if they don't sink, they have a round trip. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. <laughs> Loki just wanted to hear that song again. All right, uh, let's head back up. So I think we got everything we needed from there. So we have the rope, we have the life preserver, we need the trophy to um, get the the mock clock kabaka that up. We need two more sea urchins to get the get the pulley, uh, but I think we've cleared this area. I think we're making decent progress, and I'm having a lot of fun playing this. This is cool. The one thing about me is I enjoy video games a lot more when I guess I record them. I guess that's just my personality or something. I really just love being in front of cameras, and I do love video games, but I don't play them in my free time unless it's with friends or I'm recording because when I just I don't get fulfillment. I guess playing by myself. Uh, which is, I guess, a fact about me. I guess I did it so much when I was younger that it just doesn't appeal to me anymore, but I absolutely love making videos and playing, like, nostalgic games. Nostalgic games are, like, my jam. Um, and there's Be another sea urchin. urchin. Pick it up, and all the day you'll have good luck. I definitely encourage you guys, if you're, um, past that age, like, if you played games when you were a kid, go back to those games and just play them, because it, the feeling of nostalgia is such a such a cool thing and it just makes me happy so whenever I'm feeling sad I can sort of just go 
um, to these types of games, and I just have a lot of fun playing them. So I, I'd just recommend it if you're feeling down, maybe try playing a nostalgic game for yourself. Um, Gee, I don't think I can jump that far. Me neither. I did a whole series of channel called Nostalgic Coffee where I played games from my childhood that were nostalgic. There's a playlist on there. If you want to watch any of those, I made those a long time ago. Um, can I, can I make, I don't think, I don't think I can. That tight pool is just too far away. Okay, so let's go up here. But yeah, that's my whole skill. I don't to go off on a rant too much about that. Even if I used all my strength, I couldn't. Ray, we made it to the other side. By the red hot chili peppers. All right. Um. Fun fact: the um other side by Red Hot Chili Peppers was the first song I learned to play on the bass guitar. Huh? Is that a present? Gimme, give gimme. Give what? <laughs> Interesting. Um, so we can go down here. Let me just click everything out here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. All right, let's head down into this guy. Oh, yes, this guy. I don't know what it is about these characters. I just think they're so well done. Like, they put so much personality into these fish. It's, ooh, it really gets me going. I really like it. Hi, Mr. Triplefin. Hey, hey Triplefin. Mr. Triplefin, do you have the combination to the trophy case lock? Well, dip me in gravy and call me a biscuit. You bet I do. <laughs> he just said, dip uh, me in gravy maybe half the combination? It depends. I seen lots of locks in my time. You'll have to get me a business card with a lock serial number. Business card with a lock serial number? Is that it? Watch this. Hey, you giving me the business? Your business card, sir. Well, so it is. <laughs> you boys will be wanting the combination to the trophy case. Yeah, we do. Excuse me, sir, but I'm not a boy. I'm a girl. Ooh, hey, that's a coincidence. So's Mrs. Triplefin. Thanks for the combination, Mr. Triplefin. Ooh, can you play us a song? Sitting on my porch? Okay. Well, nothing could be finer. Except maybe eating at Eddie's all-you-can-eat diner. Okay. The food there's healthy and it tastes good to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I only wish that it could be free. <laughs> That's relatable. The music is so great. I, I wonder how they came up with these songs. <laughs> They're great. <laughs> Dip me in gravy and call me a biscuit. That is the best line I have heard in anything I've watched, listened to, played ever. <laughs> Dip me in gravy and call me a biscuit. That's great. That's so good. That's so good. All right, so now we have the combination to get the trophy. Um, so we have the knot, or we have the rope. We have the life preserver. We're going to have the trophy. Um, and I, I even forget, because we're supposed to get the trophy to get the mock stop sukabaka baka whopper. Uh, let's check out over here first. But we're making decent progress. Ooh, there's the fifth sea urchin. We need it. Give me it. Look, Luther, a purple sea urchin. Gee, how'd it get way up there? Who knows? Ooh, is he gonna... <laughs> that would have been a pretty high quality jump if Freddy made that, if she made that. Oh, I can't jump high enough to get it. See, this game was breaking that, like, gender boundary from, like, a long... This was made in probably, like, two early 2000s, maybe late 1900s most likely early 2000s, but they called Freddy as a, a gender, I don't know the term, but like a name that can be used with both gen both genders. Um, and so, in the game they addressed assuming gender. That's that's kind of interesting. I guess we need the slingshot. Here, Luther. Why this. don't you try your slingshot? Great idea. I've been waiting for a chance to test it. What are we gonna shoot in it, though? Oh, we're just gonna... Ooh, okay. Do I, do I get that? Ooh, yes. Lock on. Imagine if I missed that. Got go. it! Good work, Luther! Yeah, Luther. Ahora tenemos cinco sea urchins. Um, it was funny, I was doing an Instagram live stream and I started speaking Spanish because one of my friends from the Dominican Republic Watch out was in the stream. Watch out for that crab really invader! Like, oh, you speak Don't Spanish. let those crabs get past me! Oh, I'm not great. Ooh, this is like a mini arcade game. Alright, let's get into it. Got one! Got one! Oh no! Ooh. 
funny because any games that had to do with time stressed me out to like beyond belief and then I was on a TV show called no time to lose that was all challenges based around time which is kind of ironic but kind of really cool in the, in the same sense on um, the trailer for that's out if you guys want to check um, my TV show trailer out um, it was it's 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 uh, TV search no time to lose go check it out and the show airs this fall and I'll be sure to get posted so you can watch me on your television screen uh, so let's keep going I don't remember I think I probably clicked on this crab alright let's let's go let's keep going and down we go so we have enough sea urchins um I think there's a list Oh, is this the list? It's a so we... list that shows what we need to build okay. our trap. So we still we'll need to still figure need out how to, to get, get the trident. A trident, a mock stock mibble bop whopper bopper, and a pulley to make our trap. So I know how to get the pulley, and we have the trophy to get the mock stock mibble bop whopper bopper. <laughs> mock stock mibble bop 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 And then we need, I don't know how to get the trident. Um, so we're still gonna have to figure that one out. Uh, might have to go back towards the trident and click on it again. Um, but we can go to him and give him... Oh, we have to actually go get the trophy first. We can't just give him the, <laughs> um, combination and tell him to go get it himself because that's too much work for him. Aha, uh -huh. so let's go to the pulling board first, actually. Let's do the sea urchin. I love this octopus guy so much. He's probably, if not my favorite character within Freddy Fish. Uh, let's we are rhyming abound in your pulley emporium. Just point to a pulley. I've got a whole store of them. Yes, you do. Can we, like... Here's one sea urchin, Barnacle Bob. There you go. Oh, do I have to give them all into the Here's pulley? two sea urchins, Why? Barnacle Bob. All right. Here's three sea urchins. Here's three sea urchins, Barnacle Bob. <laughs> Here's four sea urchins. Here's four sea urchins, Barnacle Bob. All right, here's uh, yeah, five. This is the last sea urchin we have. Yes, give us the pulley. Yeah, we got lock, it. a lot, Barnacle Bob. Tain thanks that I needn't or even expecting. Just keep up your interest in pulley collecting. Two more things and we'll have everything we need to build our ghost trap. All right, so we just need the tridents. And the mock stop make us say bye 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 I'll get that right. Uh, let's go to the Hall of Fame. And I think that's where the trophy is. And we finally have the combinacion. I don't know what combination is in Spanish. I'll bet we can get this lock open now. Two. Nine. Five. Let's get it. I remember trying to figure out these puzzles as a kid and just being completely puzzled. It worked! But, but really, like, I was so confused All it would right. take me so long to play this, and now I'm just breezing through it because I guess, um, kids' games aren't as. I remember how proud I was when I won this trophy. Yeah, it's really convenient. Gee, it looks like expensive. She won that looks like it's made out of gold. No, Luther. The trophy isn't gold, only the memories that go along with it. Hey, that's sweet. What, the material, it doesn't matter if the material is gold, but the memories that come with it are gold. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Alright, uh, should we check out the movie theater again? Sure, why not? We're already here, we're already in the game, might as well dive in. Unless it's a... No come on, can we see a different show? I don't want to see Godzilla again, I've already seen Godzilla. Ooh, it's Luther's toy. Alright, let's watch this. Move that cursor for you all. Coming to a theater near you. Action. Adventure. Blueberry pie. Homemade pie. Well, this is Codfish Commando. <laughs> if you didn't know, I kind of want to get into voice acting because I feel like I have a decent voice to, like, do that announcer type voice. And. I just don't know how to get into it. I think it would be a cool avenue of entertainment to explore because I sort of want to try everything. You know, I do acting, 
I do reality television, I do YouTube, I do comedy, I do improv. So I think it would be really cool to get into voice acting as well. Um, so let's, let's give him the trophy. Ray, you won't believe this, but I just happen to have a slightly used trophy. Boom. Look at this. He's so excited. Hmm, <laughs> nice quality. Kid, you just made the deal of the century. Deal of the century. Gee, Freddy, <laughs> sorry you had to give up your spelling bee trophy. I know how much that trophy meant to you. It's okay, Luther. I remember how special it was to win it, and that's what really matters. Amen. This game is full of. There's only one times. more thing we need to build our trap. The memories are what's important in life, the experiences. It's not the material things, it's not the material things, it's the experiences. Um, speaking from experience, honestly, like, living your life for experiences. Man, I'm out of the Hold off on this thought. Yes, Squid Father, we know you never had a toy in your whole life, but... But we can't get you any until the kids are out of the classroom. Well, the kids Same. haven't left yet because of that Freddy Fish. <laughs> yes, Squid Father. No more excuses. We'll do what we gotta do. We'll do what we gotta do. Uh, boss, uh, just what do we gotta do, huh? We gotta get rid of those kids. Those meddling kids. If you don't, Scooby-Doo is something I watched growing up too. And I wonder if there's a Scooby-Doo game I could play uh, for Nostalgic Coffee. I guess this is going to be a part of Nostalgic Coffee since I already have a series dedicated to Nostalgic Games. Um, so I might do a Scooby-Doo-centered uh, game, maybe a reaction to a Scooby-Doo episode. But reaction videos are funny because I don't want to get into copyright issues. Um, all right, so we need to go. Whatever. So here, let's look at the list real fast. It's a we need list that shows what we need to build our trap. We'll we still need trident? to get a trident before we can try. So the trident was, I believe, that way. I don't quite remember. So I could be just be going the complete wrong direction. That's actually going. To, that's not where the trident is, right? This is to like that surface where you hop over the things. Yeah, that's not where the trident is. Let's go back. I'm trying to think what we could possibly use to get the trident out of that thing. I don't think I was really paying attention. I think I was telling a story when I was looking at the trident and then I got semi-lost. This is the way to the old ruins. So let's go back to the old ruins. Maybe let's talk to this cute little boy real fast. Thanks again for getting my glasses, guys. Anytime. Always looking to help out fellow fish. Um, alright, let's skip the, I forget his name, the turtle, the slowest turtle, or the fastest turtle, because there are no other turtles around. Um, alright, let's go look at this. Same. This statue is a pretty tight-fisted guy. It's not that, Luther. The trident is being blocked by the ceiling. Okay. So it's being blocked by the ceiling, so how are we gonna get it down? Like, I don't... Can we go up? Oh, there's a puzzle. Okay. So it's a slide. I'm so bad at slide levels. Okay. So I'm guessing that's not the bottom. So... Okay. Um... <laughs> I hope... I really hope this doesn't take me, like, ten years to solve. Um, because I'm genuinely... This one won't budge. Alright, so I'm gonna have to... <laughs> Bear with me. Bear with me. Um... Oh no, oh no. You're gonna witness my, my horribleness. I'm literally just moving pieces to move pieces at this point. <laughs> this is gonna be so horrible. No. Alright, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me restart all of this. See, this looks already pretty close to being solved. Maybe this needs to go up. And then this needs to go over here. Is that, does that look right? They're looking somewhat right. Um, right here. And then here. I'm so 
bad. This is a kid's game too. It's a kid's game. Oh boy. Mm. So I need, so that's, that's the right head. That's the right. That all looks correct, doesn't it? This doesn't look correct. This looks like it needs to slide down one. Oh boy, oh boy. And let's fast forward. Oh my Yay! god. You don't even need we to solve the, the slide puzzle. You don't even need to solve the slide puzzle. Let's you just need go, to make it. So the trident isn't doesn't have a piece over it. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm we're just... ready to make our trap, Luther. All right, we have everything. We're, we're making the trap now. All right. I can't believe that. I can't even believe it. That's just about everything, Luther. Mr. Can Black, we use your do? toy as bait? Well, okay. Hey, that bait though. Our trap is complete! Someone's coming! Hey, boss! Look! A toy! Let's grab it! Now, Luther! Hey, let's get him! Let's get in! Ooh. Okay, okay. This is so intricate. I like it. Oh my gosh, the trident? It's gonna fall on his head. Oh no, it's gonna go up! Hey! Why, why doesn't he run? Hey, we got him. That's it's what I'm Freddy about. Fish! And Luther. All the toys. How could you two scare the poor little guppies and steal their toys? The squid father told us to, cause he's never had any. You should know that you can't just take things that belong to someone else. Uh, duh. you know, she just might have a point there, boss. Okay, you can give back the toys. The squid father doesn't need the toys as much as the guppies. Here, give this to the squid father. He should have at least one toy. So sweet. Come on, Luther. Let's take these toys back to the guppies. That was a really nice ending. Look what we you found! You found the guppies' toys! Yes, yes, hooray! We solved the mystery, Mrs. Croker! There wasn't really a ghost haunting the school. It was just those sharks pretending to be a ghost. Congratulations! You saved the school! Wow. That was beautiful. I really liked how they ended that. Like, they, they hit you, like, with kids' games, you always gotta end on, like, a positive message. And they hit you that, um, you shouldn't take things from other people. And then they ended with him giving his toy away so the guy who hasn't had a toy his entire life could have a toy. Sharing is caring. That was so beautiful. Freddy Fish continuing to amaze me into my, um, 19-year-old years. Music, great. Animators, great. This game, great. Um, I want to thank you for watching this full Let's Play playthrough walkthrough of Freddy Fish 2, The Case of the Haunted Schoolhouse. This game was so nostalgic for me, and it provided me so much happiness and nightmares and dreams as a child. Um, it was really cool to go back and play it. So if you enjoyed, definitely hit that like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel. I upload three new videos a week. I make music uh, covers, I do ukulele stuff, guitar stuff, I also do tutorials, I also do gaming, I also do vlogs, it's like the whole spiel. I love making entertainment for you all, so I just hope you enjoy watching it. It really means the world that you take the time so you can watch these videos and just have fun with me, so I hope I can make you smile. Uh, but definitely, if you want to check out Freddy Fish, you can actually get it on Steam now. I know, like, for a period of time, I couldn't play these games because they're only on DVD and, like,
and like I lost my DVDs when I was a child, but I've been able to go back and pay for these and get them on Steam. So if you want to check out these games, they're definitely on Steam. Definitely give them a purchase. Like this, it's like such a positive message, such a nostalgic game. So if you're feeling it, pick it up. Um, but yeah, uh, this is super fun. If you want to see more Freddy Fish games, leave a comment. If there's any more nostalgic games you'd like to see me play, or even current games, comment below. But I love you all. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. You're an amazing person, and I will see you in the next video. Are you sure you want to stop playing? Take care. See you next time.